and welcome back to Violet Eyes Astrology and Tarot. My name is Vika and today we're going to be looking at the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So let's see from right here. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> today's Tuesday as you can see on top of my screen it's Tuesday May 2nd um, starting last week I could already feel some of the energies um, this week I'm already experiencing changes <laughs> that got started with circumstances last week and I am gonna be doing sun sign horoscopes after this but let's just look at this so okay so the sun is in the sun is in um Taurus, right? Opposing opposing the moon over here. And this is what is making the the eclipse. So the moon is entering into the shadow of Earth. And they're still right here. Um we have Vesta conjunct Mercury, which is pretty close to the sun which is like one degree off of what the Hellenistic orb, three degree orb is, but they're still relatively close. So we're going to go ahead and count these as, as still. Um, yesterday was uh, Mercury, Kasimi, and yesterday main, which means that uh, Mercury and the sun were, con you know, conjoined. And so yesterday could have been a good day where you got a lot of like kind of uh, ideas of what what you need to do um, as things are already crumbling down around you. Um, so basically what I'm what I'm seeing here with Vesta and Mercury, which they're right here. Um, so the asteroid Vesta is about it's, it's about keeping that flame burning. So in Greek mythology, the Vestas were the the priestesses, the, the temple ladies, women, that kept the torches burning. They were virgins. They did participate in a custom sexual traditions, um, which was like communing through spiritual communion through sex. Um, they did have to spend a lot of time alone after that in order to regenerate their purity um their spiritual purity and the purity of themselves so vesta being in taurus it just augmentates that uh, it augmentates that that level of um spiritual like spirit of consistency right because taurus is consistent um day day after day putting in that work and vesta as well keeping that torch lit and conjoined mercury is where we're gonna see a lot of this being like could be in, in through information it can be through speaking so i think it's a good time to to really pay attention to what you're saying or what you're writing um, I think it'd be a good time to do a lot of, um, what is that called? The uh, journaling and f like f just write, just put pen to paper and see what comes out because you might just find the solution to you, to what you need in, in the things that you're rambling or, or what you're writing and, um, conjoining the sun, it just, it just reinforces that, 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 um, that it's your truth. Uh, so with this and the North Node also being in Taurus, um, it kind of goes to show like what what the possibilities are for you to. So well, like following the North Node type of deal, it's like okay, yes, you could, you can, and then. But it's always like based off of what's happening in the south node. So what is really gonna help you open that door to the to where you need you're you know if you're headed north. But if it's a if we're talking about north node and south node, uh, the nodes of the moon, 
and um these are basically shadows of the moon they're a mathematical point in space but since the moon represents your you know your mind your inner workings it can kind of show where that where the where the tendencies of your mind will go into based on uh where the nodes are so right now we're doing a collective reading for everybody so these are just general readings once i get into the sun signs then i'm gonna talk a little bit more based on your sun sign of where what exact where what places in your life this is dealing with but for now so we're looking at the what's gonna help basically the work that's needing to be done we can find it by by looking at saturn so let's see what the heck is saturn oops let me shrink this a little bit so what is saturn doing so saturn is hi uh, okay so saturn is let's see so it is trining the south node saturn right here in pisces which is already telling speaking about putting in the work through building spirituality through building your emotional intelligence um this training the south node is what's gonna help you with this very difficult moon in scorpio so the moon is um in detriment in scorpio the moon does not like being there the moon is exalted in taurus so it's actually exalted over here in Taurus where it's comfortable, it's at peace. The moon is, um, it's home, it's natural home of the moon is the moon in Cancer. So if you're a moon in Cancer person, you, you know, doesn't mean that everything is going to be good, but it just means, you know, that's, the moon is, it, it's happy there because it can express all of its, all of its feelings, like all of its things. So it's not necessarily like a good thing, but it does anywho that matters because because um because it's Ma mars is there and and mars being the you know action um where we're gonna be doing a lot of the cutting away is you know it's it's in the moon's house here it's in cancer so the the moon our feelings are gonna be kind of dictating like that's where the that's where the action needs to happen and what is mars doing let's see mars is mars is training neptune so mars is trying to to kind of have us take action based on based on what it it's we're trying to cut through all this fog from neptune and trying to 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 cut a lot of things from the past the south node away so the work the work that we need to do because saturn is training the south node saturn representing work it is is having to do with with the past with so like i was saying so the moon is in detriment in scorpio it does not like being there it's 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 too it's probably too much because scorpio represents the you know trauma the dark night of the soul scorpio is the sign that you know it, it evolves it, it, scorpio is, is represented by the three three things the scorpion the snake and then finally the eagle so it's the only sign in the well it's not the only sign but it is um the sign that transforms three times three times and with this um with, for transformation it, it has to go through through difficult um like trials and we all experience this right now because the south node is there and the moon is there as a collective whether you're a scorpio sun sign or not and it's not just our like our traumas or our personal um emotional shadows you know it's also having to do with our ancestry because the moon represents all of our lineage our ancestry and if we if we look back in time and you know we start asking questions 
of probably our family members um we can we can probably find patterns to where somebody in our family has gone through whatever you are experiencing it might not look the same way but maybe there's a pattern of divorce in the family maybe there's a pattern of um i don't know marrying for money or if there's something in your family lineage and if you look back in your family history you could find um clues to what what's been happening and why it's been happening um with saturn with saturn squaring fortuna jupiter's daughter it's kind of saying that in, in in the sign of sagittarius where we learn it's um you know sagittarius is the higher represents higher learning and so fortuna is in her father's home and she is retrograde so fortuna that's the that represents you know, where where you might find difficulties, where fortune might change. And when I'm saying fortune, I'm, I'm not just talking about money, but I'm also talking about, um, I'm talking about like circumstances. I'm talking about abundance and, um, you know, abundance can mean that you have a lot of something like you might be negative $21 in the bank, but you have an abundance of what, you know, and that's where we we can look at what okay what what are what are the the shadows of myself connected to to the shadows of my lineage and what I, and also but also what is a where are we abundant as a family because we can change like it's, it's kind of like a wheel of like the boat and it's like we we can we can we can take a turn and this eclipse is inviting us to take that turn so with the weekend horoscope, I was talking about, what was I talking about? I was talking about arguments with, um, particularly with women, because there was, um, there were aspects to the moon, which, which represents women. And what I didn't understand until today is that it could also have meant that there's, there's arguments within the family and regarding what, regarding, um, the work, regarding what we do, regarding where the wheel is, where, our family or ourselves where we are where we you and you watching this video where what different choices are you making that are different than what anyone in your family has done and how is this provoking the family how, how is this causing like um disruption in your family you know whether you're an adult having to deal with the rest of the family, your parents, your, you know, every extended family, or if you are somebody with kids and you have to deal with your partner accepting, you know, the, the blows that the family might have to take if you decide to do things different, if you decide to take a sharp turn. And I think more than anything, what, what this eclipse is showing is that these things are they're kind of already decided for they're already like things have already been set in motion and right now you have to have the discernment to be able to tell okay do i do i keep going or is this crumbling a significant a sign a significant of me needing to move on and starting somewhere else so because putting in the work of saturn to trine so saturn trining the south node that's what's going to help us if we put in the work saturn which you know Cap saturn rules capricorn so it's that's where the lot of fortune which is different than fortuna the lot of fortune is like more more of a personal where where is it dealing for you where is your personal fortune going? And the fortuna is more of like how everything is affecting. I think, you know, this one has more to do with like material goods and career. This lot of fortune and like of 
uh, not i mean we call it career here in i mean in the west in the u.s and like in mexico too i remember people saying like what are you gonna do when you grow up you know but other cultures call it dar dharma so it's kind of like your purpose that you just so happen to get compensated for because whenever you put whenever you give energy somewhere you put your energy there i mean more you know eventually it's gonna start giving you returns so this has to do a lot this eclipse has to do a lot with the work we're putting in because um the lot of fortune is there our dharma where our dharma where what are you doing what is your purpose what is your job title and you know this is in capricorn for now i mean this moves along but it's it's in capricorn and it's this is trining the south node which trining means like it's making a triangle which is a positive aspect it's a helpful aspect and so you might think okay but if if if, if how could it be a good aspect to a a, a, de, a moon in detriment a moon that's like not good in scorpio and if you are a moon in scorpio person it's like then you you know how that feels like you know the darker the darker sides of of the scorpio energy really comes out and when i say dark i don't mean like bad i i'm i mean you know i mean more like um the the pff, difficult the shadow there's light qualities to Scorpio too. So let's, yeah, let's talk about that. Okay, so the light qualities to Scorpio are transformation, you know, metamorphosis. So what's the difference between metamorphosis and evolution? So evolution, you know, it takes a long time. It's like a Taurus. It takes a long time to put in the work. It takes a long time to water a seed to watch it grow into a plant. But Scorpio, Scorpio, no. Scorpio is like metamorphosis. Scorpio is like, you know, your, I mean, let's say you have like posture problems, right? And you're walking around all slouched and you're like, oh my God, no, oh my God, oh my God, like, and you just suddenly like, okay, I'm gonna walk straight starting now. Like you could be in the middle of a party thinking I should be more social. And then you could go down this like hole of uh, when I get home after this party, I'll watch videos on how to be more social. But metamorphosis is when you have that thought and you instantly change when you're like, I should be more social. And instead of going down that, you know, thought hole, you, you start actually talking you're like hey how's it going how's your steak oh how is the you know how's the cake or what do you think about this um venue or that's metamorphosis when you suddenly straighten your back when you're suddenly awake when you're suddenly like i know what i'm supposed to do so this this has this is kind of an eye opener and it has to do a lot with how our choices our individual choices affect our family our extended family and how the things that our extended family has affected us and how that programmed us to be where we're at today and there are there are rewards to be reaped with this um i'm looking at ceres the asteroid Ceres, which is um Ceres is the mother of she's the goddess of agriculture and she's here in virgo so that's a great place for her to be in the sixth house of um for routines and work and mercury the dispositor of virgo is over here with vesta like yeah you put that work in and you will like the rewards you know the, there are rewards that are already here to encourage you to to keep to either to keep going into your path or to decide more that you do need to 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 give more of your full attention to one of the two or three things that you might be doing um and with Lilith being over here 
retrograde in cancer in where you know moon rules over this it's also talking about how can we emancipate ourselves from the ideas from the bad from the chains of our past how can we emancipate ourselves from the chains of our past and this is all very much spiritual because because venus is over here in gemini it's in the 12th whole sign house um and it's what let's see what is venus doing venus is trining the south north as well it's there's gonna be a lot of help that you can find through looking inside through what's the 12th the 12th house represents like spirituality like this is all very spiritual this is a very spiritual time i mean yes i get it like this is a spiritual practice but this chart specifically it's it's about it's more about dharma than about career and how can okay so maybe maybe you're asking well and not for everybody it's not necessarily gonna be like the change that will lead you to your dharma might not necessarily be a job change but something in your life will be a catalyst with this eclipse to eventually get that job change that um purpose that that this is calling for and it's it's maybe not so much about your job title but more about what role you are playing in the history of your family in the history of your lineage and what um what things you are what patterns you're breaking And then Pluto retrograde now at zero degrees of Aquarius. Uh, so that is, let's see. So that being the solar eighth house and it's Scorpio's domain. And then Uranus is over here where all the action is kind of headed towards so it's in scorpio's domain but it's ruled by this guy so this guy's kind of communicating with pluto and pluto's got a very strong connection with this south node with both i mean with with both places so there's definitely it's not about one or the other, but it's mostly about what's going to help you continue to grow, what's going to help you continue to to put in, to build, is definitely being affected by what you're dragging behind with your feet. And that's they basically what what's happening here. You know, I think, like I said, there's a, it's a good time for journaling and, you know, I just, um, be brave, be brave and trust that whatever is crumbling right now in your life needs, it is what needs to, to fall so that you may build North Node Taurus, um, something something stronger something of more truer of more truer to your nature yeah so thank you for being here with me thank you for watching my horoscope i appreciate you so much and um i'm gonna be doing the sun signs for this eclipse have a good day
Uh, many blessings and namaste. Thanks.